Now, who, who are your favorite rappers these days? Oh, man. Did you mentioned Chief Keith. Chief Keith. That, I, I mean, you, you, you messed with Chief Keith. I like that's that. The shit, that's the that's shit that you that like. Shit I yeah, I love that record. You love that. I love that that's record. That's the shit I don't like. like that's the shit I don't like. <laughs> I mean, you got the attitude is right. It's like, shit, goddamn, get off your ass and jam. That's that shit I don't like. And they do it with such conviction. <laughs> I mean, um... Dr. Dre is the chronic. A lot of people consider that the greatest hip hop album ever. That was really based on your music, like that was well, George Clinton. Well, Dr. Dre, Dr. Before they would did, before they would, um, N.W.A. He used to have a club here called Uncle Jam's Army. Mm -hmm. That was the name of one of our albums. Right. That was before he ever started rapping. He was, they was DJ him and Battle Cat. They was DJ. Right. So. He had a lot of P-Funk in him, you know what I'm saying? It was just like the, that was like the Mothership album yeah. of, of uh, hip-hop. Were you, were, you, were you proud of that album? I was proud of it, yes. Yeah. I'm proud of that one, Public Enemy, Rock Kim, all of them, they used a lot of, N.W.A., they used a lot of funk, Eric Sermon, all the all people, right. they used a lot of funk, Digital Underground, they used a lot of funk, I'm proud of it. But Dre, you know, Dre, Dre got they, did, they did they they did the West Coast version of P Funk, you know, with the synthesizers. You know, more bounce. I did that too. Yeah, oh, more bounce. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. Uh, oh, Roger Troutman. I did it all. Oh. I produced that. You produced that. Yeah. Oh, so you're you're deep. That part that was another part of P Funk. Oh, absolutely. Bootsy too. Sure. Um, now, at one point, you got a lot of James Brown's band. That was Bootsy brought all of them there. Bootsy, Bootsy. Bootsy brought Maceo, Fred, Kush. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Cool, man. I got, to get, I got to get up out of here myself. Okay, he got you. Yeah, I'll do your thing. Good. Good. Um, good to go. Oh, just a couple more questions. What was really your relationship with James Brown and how much influence you guys have on each other? No, I mean, just the fact that we work with the same people. Mm -hmm. You know, Boots yeah. and Fred and Mason and all of them. And I know him, we worked on one or two records together. But um, I didn't know him that well. Yeah. But, you know, when they talk about the king of the funk, you two are always mentioned together. I mean, yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of people that's funky. Believe me, I can get some funky folks that are funkier than both of us, really. <laughs> you know, there's lots of funky folks around. You know what I'm saying? But you got to Sly Stone is one of the funkiest folks you could ever find. Absolutely. You know, Stevie, when, when he want to be. Oh, yeah. Prince, when he want to be. They just choose to do other type of music most mm -hmm. of the time. But there's a whole lot of them that just, Motown was funky, period. Everything about Motown, that bass of Jameson made everybody funky.